now we're heading on to the set of Emmerdale with the Dingles as Chaz's breast cancer storyline continues tonight. Hello, everybody. We are behind the scenes here at Emmerdale, just about to go in and rehearse and shoot a very important scene regarding Chaz's breast cancer diagnosis and the support of the Dingle ladies. We are filming a scene in the back room which has a lot of the Dingle women who are all coming together to basically discuss Chaz's diagnosis and to talk openly as women about checking their breasts. Check your breasts, ladies. I didn't. Even though Mum died from breast cancer, still didn't. What's so important about this storyline is how early Chaz found the lump, thanks to Dr. Liam. Me personally, in my own family, my mum was an ostrich. She put her head in the sand. She thought it was something that would go away. It won't go away. And you can't be like that. My mum personally, she wasn't that lucky. That's testament of why we're doing what we're doing today. Sarah actually mentions in the scene, you know, oh, I'm too young, she's only 18. And I think it's really important that we are spreading the message because people nowadays are getting diagnosed younger and younger. Sarah's sort of the character there to say, you know, check yourself, whatever age you are, it's important still. Like myself, I had a scare last year. I found a, a lump in my right breast. And when I went in the doctor, I said, I'm no more concerned about the one on your left. And I had absolutely no idea. And even though you're feeling for things, I wasn't, you're not really sure how to do it properly. So that's why it's so, so important. Luckily for me, if they were benign, be aware and check the boobies. I think something that we touch on in the script and in the scene that we're just doing is the fear around checking yourself and if you find, find something, are you going to do something about it? Because actually, do we want to bury our heads in the sand? And Lydia says that, I'm a bit too scared. Reading that, I thought, yeah, that hits home. If I'm honest, I'm a bit scared to. Lydia, I think being told by your oncologist that you've got stage four breast cancer is a lot more scarier. There's so many TV programmes that are telling us to check our breasts and we all we all nod and say, yeah, I need to do that. Through Chaz's storyline and all the brilliant work that you've done with Lorraine, I just hope that it's going to make more awareness, people are talking more and women are not afraid to check themselves. And by checking yourselves, you're going to save your own life. Fact. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, let's speak to Lucy Pardita, who plays Chaz and joins us live from the Woolpack. Thank you so much for joining us. What an amazing storyline. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Oh, morning. When they approached you, I mean, it's quite a big task, isn't it? It's quite a lot of responsibility. How did you feel about it? It's a huge responsibility to take on. I can remember last year I had a, a, a meeting upstairs and, and Jane, who was our producer at, this, at the time, kind of approached me and said, we've got this coming up for you next year. Um, I think the first thing you think is, I hope... I want to and I hope I can do justice for the people who are actually suffering with with breast cancer and all their families that are going through supporting them. So yeah, it was it was daunting, it was a massive responsibility, but hopefully I'm doing it justice. Oh, absolutely. Um and tell us as well, we've saw we've seen a little bit. Give us a little bit of a sense of what's happening ahead. So this evening's episode, um, you see all the Dingle ladies, all the Dingle ladies, it's a bit of a song, uh, in the back room <laughs> and we're all just having that, that chat, you know, that women should have and men should have, to be quite honest with you, about checking yourself. We all know we should. We've all been told. We're all seeing these all over the place. You know, we're, we're told constantly to check our breasts. And how many of us actually do it? So it's just an open, frank kind of women talking with a bottle of wine about checking our breasts, which is what we all should be doing really on a regular basis. And of course, this programme is so involved in all of that. And it's absolutely brilliant because the poster, I think, is actually in the GP surgery, isn't it? It is. We do have the poster in the GP surgery and we have these posters all in our toilets uh, in the building as well. So it is constantly visible to us. And I think having that visible uh, reminder whilst you're sitting there having a little tinkle uh, is a great, <laughs> great thing because it does put it into your brain. Right. OK. Over lunch or whilst I'm having a tinkle or while I'm in the shower, just check. So it's a vis visible reminder to us all just to kind of do it as yeah. a daily routine, really. Absolutely. And you mentioned um, talking to men about it as well, and that's very much part of the storyline, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's all to do with the faulty BRCA2 gene, yeah, that can be passed down through generations in the family. 
Um, and tell me about what you really... You've talked a little bit about what you want viewers, but what about your character? Does it, It's presumably going to change her and put her on a really different journey in some ways. It does. It takes her... Unfortunately, her, her own mother died from breast cancer last year. I think it was last year. The time goes by so quickly in this yeah. programme. Uh, but, yeah, her own mother died from breast cancer, so, of course, she, she has that very, very... Uh, prominent in her mind and doesn't want that to happen to herself. She's got two children. She's got Aaron and she's got Eve. Um, so it, it's it's her fight really to be want to, want to be around for her her family and her children that kind of drives her forward and and makes her not want to give up and not want to succumb and and do everything that she can to kind of be around for her kids. I'm really interested as well because people identify with you as a character, don't they? So presumably that changes, you know, are people talking to you about it as well? I've had a lot online, really. I've had a lot of responses online, which has been amazing. Uh, and for, for the first time in a while, it's been quite positive. Um, uh, so, yeah, I've had a lot of women reaching out to me saying, you know, I'm going through this myself or I have a family member that's going through this. And that a lot of people can't watch the hospital scenes because it's quite triggering. Oh. But a lot of people are, are just enjoying the quiet moments when she's on her own, when she's kind of like taking a breath. And when she's kind of... It's all those things that, uh, that hit you personally that you don't show other people in your family. It's the emotions behind the front that sometimes you can put on. So, um, yeah, I've had a lot of beautiful, beautiful women reaching out and thanking me for kind of like showing those little moments. Well, you're doing an amazing job. Thank you very much indeed, and thank, thank you so you. much for talking to us this morning. Thank you. Best of luck. Check your boobies. Do you know, we're just going to talk about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're fantastic. <laughs> it's so important, isn't it, Amir? It is, and it's the first of the month, and the first of the month is a good time to put in your diary every first of the month, check your boobies, men and women. And the best thing to do is, in the shower or when you're getting dressed, mm -hmm. just start at the nipple, work your way round in concentric circles. Don't forget the bit under your arm, that bit of muscle there, all the way up to your collarbone, right under your arm as well. Any lumps, any skin changes, any nipple changes, any nipple discharge, anything unusual. It's important to be breast aware. Know yeah. what's normal for you and then what's unusual. Anything new, get it checked. It's probably not cancer, you never know, but go and get it checked. Um, I, I imagine for lots of people, if they do find something, there's a real sense of of being scared. Yeah. So what do, what's your advice at that point? So my advice would be come and see a clinician like myself. You know, I will have a look, I'll listen to you uh, and then examine you with a chaperone uh, and it will. I'll, I'll have an idea as to whether it might be something serious or not based on that. But we generally refer all women with new breast symptoms to the breast clinic. They get something called an urgent referral, they get seen within two weeks, they'll get examined again, perhaps scanned, uh, and then they'll get told what, what it is. It's better to know than to not know sit at home and worry. And also better to find it if there is something earlier. Yes, yeah. The prognosis is so much better if caught early uh, and the treatment options are so much more... Um, there's so many more options when it's caught early as well. Well, thank you so much. And thank you. thank you to everybody who gets in touch as well because I know it's such an important thing that this yeah. programme is doing and it really reaches and changes people's lives. So, yeah. great. <laughs> um, don't forget, you can download our Change and Check leaflet with all the signs and symptoms from our website as well.